Hello Poppets, how you all doing? Thanks for popping by. Okay, um, yes it's true and it's not surprising because if you're a regular YouTuber you get used to kind of um, Jehovah's Witnesses swearing at you and telling you all sorts of very rude and naughty things. So yes, this particular one, he, he has said this to me, but I want you to stay to the end of this because then I can show you the absolute hypocrisy of this same person. It's hilarious. Okay, so this comes under um, a new YouTuber's, it was her first video. She's called XJW Southern Bell. And this was her first video, and like a lot of first videos, they're very personal stories. And they always, you see she's got 1.2 thousand views on that. They always do very well because people love to hear the personal stories. They're very helpful. But I know from experience, when you um, start, when you tell a, a personal story, when you, you know, do a, um, a tube and it's, you know, it's all personal, it can be, feel very vulnerable. So it's really nice to support people. I'm going to put a link uh, under this video to this video so you can subscribe to her and watch her video and support. So here we go. So um, she's getting lots of, you know, good support from people. You'll see some familiar names there. So we have this guy who I'd, I'd, I'd um, noticed a little bit round and about. So we'll have a little look at him. So he says, after she's poured out her heart and soul and spoken about hypocrisy, vomit, every fragile snowflake ex-witness just has to tell their precious story. God. If you're J-Dub, you're not supposed to really say God, are you? But it's very sort of recalcitrant teenager. Is there any other type of teenager? Yes, there is, actually. So... I'd sort of seen him put this, I thought it was very unfair on her, her brand new channel. And I put, Matt Manish, I've noticed your very cruel comments on videos. Why do you not feel compassion and love for people in their suffering? All you're doing is shining a light on your own internal problems and not illuminating either your own doctrinal path or mankind's search for meaning and grace within their suffering. That sounded pompous, didn't it? I do apologise. Matt Manish. No, I'm actually trolling the crap out of false people. <sighs> Matt Manish, why bother? And who are you to say they are false? You don't know this lady and it comes over as you judging her. We'll judge, so get off your high horse. Well, he's got a point there. But you're the one on here doing the judging and being cruel. Why do you do it? Because apostates deserve it. They lie out their asses. And need, I think that means asses in English. And need someone to take them down a peg. Where are the lies? Also needing to be taken down a peg. Why have you elected yourself to do that? Why don't you meet the problems you see with love? It was loving for JWs to disfellowship you. Obviously it didn't work. Try a different approach. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he writes the um the, the um how how to act as a J dub book, does he? I doubt it very much. I see you unable to answer the questions I asked, which is where the lies were. I can only presume you cannot answer them like the way you presume I was disfellowship. Very interesting. If you wish to be credible, then answer my questions. Otherwise we know you cannot answer. It's this thing that they always presume that anyone who speaks out has been disfellowshipped. It's just universal everywhere. I'll sit twice now. Just because you have your apostate blind is all makes you blind is all. I didn't see where he said about where the lies were, but anyway. Where did you answer the lies? I'm repeating myself, repeating myself. Sorry I missed that. Also I'd like to know why you presume that everyone trying to help current next week is just fellow show not the case anyway, I want to see what the lies are. Nevertheless nevertheless what? He didn't answer. You were still apostates and deceivers. Who says? The lies are numerous to numerous to mention. The nineteen seventy five one is one lie, apostates tell for instance. What? Were you given us so far his opinion? No facts, there's no point in coming here saying nasty things. Read more bit. Um, nice thing, but offering no counterfacts. If you need to have a problem about 1975, then you need to let the facts. Otherwise, you're being redundant. You can read this even your statement. Then was trying to help current and ex user's opinion. Got any bodies said that Watchtower not God's only channel on earth, and they themselves are not inspired. What about the people disfellowship because they were raped? 
and the elders decided that they didn't fight back and now talking about people entirely immersed in Watchtower who want to stay but the elders won't let them how is that apostate or loving you see because disfellowshipping is always apparently a loving act especially when you're being raped please provide facts be kind to your fellow man we all need mercy and forgiveness every day I say taking a big gulp <laughs> because I know I do oh it's the poor little lip tile triggered like where did that come in Oh, you are DF'd. Why else would you use the name JW? I see right through you, phony. Just ignored everything. Ignored everything I said. And uh, it was, he's, I noticed he used Snowflake and Liptard. You can tell he's just suddenly gone into a, a certain um, narrative elsewhere and, and using that language. Um, so that, then this is the actual um, channel owner, XJW Southern Bell. It's interesting, all of the hatred that is spewing out of your mouth when you're supposed to be the most loving organisation of people on earth. <laughs> Was Jesus the most loving on earth? Yet he called the apostates of his day vipers and snakes. So stop playing the victim, you... Wait, it gets better now. You libtard cuckold. Now, cuckold... Lovely, old, old English word. A cuckold is very specifically a man whose wife has been um, roaming around on him. And you have to be a man on it. So, OK, you might want to use it metaphorically, but I I don't understand how he could. But anyway, um, so now um, XJW Southern Bell is a, a libtard cuckold. Wonderful. It's just all these things just throw out with no evidence at all. I know you haven't even attempted to answer any questions, but any proofs just gone back to insults, that says it all. I think he's just learned the word libtard, as for saying cuckold, that's just absurd. Anyway, easy to see how people try to get others into the org by displaying love and humility towards mankind. <laughs> and here we get it. Oh, go f <laughs> yourself, JW suicides. <laughs> I wonder if he tries that approach on the doors, you know. Oh, do come to Jehovah's loving organisation, if not, go fuck uh. You had your chance at love and you squandered it. Really? I didn't know he'd been following me round all my life. He doesn't seem old enough. He seems very young to me. You belong in the lake of fire. Oh, now he's Jesus. He's Jesus. Get they to the lake of fire with the rest of the liars, etc. I've been asking him to prove where the lies are. That Jehovah decrees in Revelation. Yeah, you are lipped up. He's gone off again. He's gone off again. Being against religion is a huge giveaway. What? <laughs> and you are a cuck too. Because you believe in this world, well, I believe, I don't know, I'm touching it at the minute, I'm here. <laughs> and actually, tell me your southern bell goes, triggered! That's <laughs> true. No, why do lip tiles like yourself always take a worse and try to use them and think that you guys came up with it? What? <laughs> Such hypocrites. I think, try to take our words. So is triggered a JW word? Who's this owl, us, we? Is he identifying himself with some political movement? Hmm, such hypocrites. Hmm, no, liberals get triggered. I, are you supposed to be referring to people in these terms if you're J-Dub? Because these aren't J-Dub words, man. That is why they need the safe spaces for kittens and crayons. Oh, <laughs> you get this? Not us, strong will Bible lovers. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love a well reasoned comeback. <laughs> and then he's, there's some whole reference there. Blah, 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 blah. Uh -huh, Google is loaded with dumbass liberals like yourselves getting triggered. Not us, nice try. Liar again. <laughs> And then, quite quite reasonably, I think she comes back, hypocrite, go crap on someone else's story. And so, well, I just wanted to lay this out. You now swear at me, which is against Bible teachings. Two, you're unable to offer any proof of what you claim. I put if, dearie me. Three, you come onto videos like this against Watchtower te teachings. Look who's trying to shun me now! Oh, the old reverse psychology gag! Oh. Then you complain the that the society shuns ex-witnesses, and yet you are trying to guilt me into not being a form of shunning. What? 
such hypocrisy. I, he'd written that in between me saying, four, you continue with name calling, including using words you don't understand. Five, you judge and claim it's right by com you judge and claim it's right by comparing yourself to Jesus. Six, you act in a way that should your congregation know you would be subject to disciplinary 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 procedure and possible excommunication. I'm not shunning you at all. If I were, I wouldn't have addressed you. You do like making things up. I must take a lot of energy. You, I don't understand the gigantic word of lip No, I was thinking of cuckold, but never mind. You, you apostates with your high uh, edumacation. I know he's been, he's making a joke. The edumacation. Ah, we all judge dipshit. <laughs> dipshit. <laughs> <laughs> All of us, every single day, you judge what to wear each day. No, I, I choose. I choose what to wear each day. It's not, that's not judging. Maybe a, a sort of making a judgment. It's not the same as judging a person. It's very different. You were still trying to get me to leave. Oh, hypocrite. Doing these idiotic videos must take all the energy. Wait for this. It's easy and fun. To troll apostates, actually. Oh, how charming. How char what a charming fellow. I must invite him to dinner. So you find it fun being mean to me. Well, anyway, I'm still waiting for you to explain why 75 is a liar plus provide blah, 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 blah. I'd be mean to apostates. Yeah, 75 is totally lie. And then, um, goes on. They say, they speculate, but we said maybe not. It's an opinion who is an apostate. And then we go along 75, pass away. Lie, show me print the um, exact day. And of course it does exist. <laughs> not only does the exact day exist, but, um, he said, said it will be at sundown as well. But, um, liar, I'm liar. Nothing to stop you matter searching the matter anyway. Isn't no it proof? Um, and we went in to say about things and, and I did a little bit about the cost. The cost of those faithful over so many years. It's over a hundred years. Cost of the faithful. So, okay, now hang on because we're going to have the fun about after him to be go. We're going to have a load of fun. <laughs> this is a screenshot of another um, conversation that manager was having. And I can't remember where I got it from. It's a screenshot. So here we can see our little friend. Look, he's got a nice little pink circle with a name in it. Matt Manish. And he's obviously, Kate Hamer's obviously upset her. Wait for this. Kate Hamer is showing how a true apostate acts. Filthy language! <laughs> <laughs> so cookie cutter! <laughs> <laughs> Always made me turn into Katie Kitten there. Filthy language! That's how a true apostate acts! Matt Manish is like shooting fish in a barrel. You have a nice day, little poppet. And don't get triggered now. Lots of love. Mwah. Bye! <laughs>